All right. So I took the family out for a vacation in January 2020 to Hilton Head Island. It was pretty fun. Find out where we stayed, where we ate, and what we did. For those of you that might want to skip ahead to the part of the video that interests you, I've included a little timeline here for you to reference. If you want to support this channel, five different things you can do here. You can like this video, subscribe to my channel, comment anything below, and share this video. I've also got a little Amazon wish list down in the links below, and uh, if you want to buy something off that, that'd be pretty cool. I'll even give you a little shout out on my next video. So in late 2019, I decided that instead of spending some money on an anniversary gift, our anniversary is January 4th, we would save a little bit of money and take the entire family out to Hilton Head Island for a little bit of quality time together. I went to Airbnb looking for a sweet deal. I found something I was happy with and booked it for the nights of January 3rd to the 5th. I'll talk about this place we say that in just a little bit. So the job after that was to look for a car. Our car seats four to five very uncomfortably. So we needed a vehicle that would seat six. I looked into standard car rentals and a uh, car rental was about two to three hundred dollars. My wife also looked into that and she found that instead of booking from Pinellas, if you search from Tampa Airport, uh, the vehicles are about 150 to 200 dollars. Then I remembered about Turo, and I looked into Turo, and uh, the prices were a little bit cheaper than that. Uh, however, uh, the average Turo car was a few years older, and I figured for the few di dollars difference versus the few years difference, uh, it was probably going to be better just to get a car from the Tampa airport and use that. However, on Black Friday, I got a sweet coupon code from Turo. And I instantly remembered we have a vacation coming up, so I looked into it again, and this time I found a little van, found a minivan for about $100, and I booked it, because that's a sweet deal. You can check my video about that rental down below, it's on my other YouTube channel. So on the Friday morning of the rental, my daughter picked me up and took me to the car rental place. I picked it up, we went home, packed up, and we left. Marvel, Marvel, don't you do it. <laughs> Bad dog. Okay, so we're just outside of Ocala right now at a truck stop, and uh, we got the first 100 miles or so done. No issues with the rental at all. The trip was enjoyable. I enjoy driving most of the time. We made a few short stops, and we stopped at Derek Queen our way through the trip. We arrived in Hilton Head Island in time for a short walk on the beach and to catch that sunset. Here's the Airbnb rental that we looked at. This is the actual list. So this was the, the Airbnb that we got at Hilton Head Island. Uh, when I was looking for a place to stay, I was looking at a place that had three bedrooms, 
uh, because we have two s pairs of adults. There's my wife and I, my daughter and her boyfriend, then my other daughter and my granddaughter. And I figured three bedrooms would be a minimum uh, so that the two kids can sleep together. Um, I also was looking for a place that had a kitchen and I was looking for a place that was fairly affordable. This was one of the more affordable places per night on Hilton Head Island. So I came up with this place. Um, it had three bedrooms, six beds, two baths, uh, and these are some of the pictures of the place. Good looking place. Um, it also had, this was also a sofa bed under here, so they had that option if that bedroom didn't work out for the two kids, if there was a, some sort of an issue, one person could sleep out in the living room. That's what I figured. Um, but this is their living room area. This is the kitchen. Uh, now one issue I did have was with the fridge. Uh, we arrived and nothing was cold and uh, it was quite concerning because we had some food to go in there and we put the food in the fridge and it was pretty warm. Uh, the next day, however, or a couple hours later, we opened the fridge and it was actually kind of cold. So we figured, oh, okay, maybe something was just odd was happening. Uh, so we disregarded that and then the next morning everything was warm again and uh, I called the the owner and he said he was gonna have a repair guy coming but however it was a, a bad weekend it was a holiday weekend um, or something I forget what the exact problem was maybe just very short notice uh, they couldn't get a repair person there did notice after a, a bit of uh, back and forth with the fridge that perhaps the door was cracked open this fridge was not shutting all the way all the time uh, so we were made a concentrated effort to keep the door closed and everything seemed to cool off nicely um, so this fridge does have an issue with the seals that was a problem however we did work around it uh, but it had a nice kitchen nice seating area uh, one thing I did notice is there's a lump in the hallway and it just felt really weird. Uh, the, the apartment felt uh, flimsy, but it wasn't that bad. This was the master bedroom. This is the big one with the actual bathroom attached to it. Uh, this is the bathroom for the master. Uh, this was the other bedroom, the second bedroom. Uh, and then this was a pretty cool concept. They had double bed here, a bed up here, and a bed up here. So the two children were able to sleep in that room nicely. And this is the shared bathroom, not attached to the master. Uh, they do have elevators. I found it much quicker to go through the stairs because it was right there. Uh, this is your beach. Now this is the view from the parking lot to the beach. The beach is past these. This condo strip here. That was a nice walk down this boardwalk. It's peaceful, lots to see. Uh, this is the outdoor pool. We went in January so we did not partake of the outdoor pool whatsoever. Uh, and this is a tiki hut or a shack some sort of a restaurant area thing uh, by the beach and this was closed for the season when we went we went early January and this is right at the beach now we also had this outdoor area but this was closed for the season as well so there was a lot closed when we went this is inside the covered pool which was open. This is the outside area which was closed for the season. We didn't get to see this. A little disappointing. This is the indoor pool. This was open. This is the hot tub here. This is the kid pool here. 
Uh, the regular pool here. Uh, the regular pool it was heated. Um, there's a fitness center here, and then there's uh, a sauna in here. The sauna was closed. And there's a little game room here. It was interesting. Again, this was closed for the season. Uh, that's your gate as you walk and um, as you drive up. The, the guard was pretty attentive to us. Uh, this is their main road. Guard gate here, and then you drive around. And our condo was on this corner here. To get to the pool, you can either cut across the parking lot or, since it was raining one day, we went through the building here this way and it was less exposed. I won't say it's completely enclosed. It is not. Um, but this other pool was closed for the season. Apparently there's some tennis courts on this side here too. We did not partake of that. And then from our condo here we're able to go to the bar boardwalk right through here. This was a good little walk. Outdoor pool is closed. Yes, this is the tennis course. We, I guess, on the day we left, uh, the kids saw that and they were like, "Oh, we didn't get to go." Conversely, we didn't find any tennis rackets in the uh, in the hallway until the day we left, and then they said they didn't find tennis rackets, so they were a little upset. But maybe next time we'll see it. Um, these are all. Photos of the condo complex, and this is just regular head island stuff. There's a shopping mall not too far away, a bit of a drive. Um, so we, there was a Starbucks pretty close to this apartment. I mean, pretty close to this shopping center, and there was also the restaurant, the Hickory Inn, I believe it's called, that we went to in this. Complex. So that was a nice place. Um, so one thing I did notice is, uh, yes, they had the sofa listed as a spot, and uh, our review here is this great location, warm indoor pool for winter, nice boardwalk to the beach. The upstairs, upstairs neighbors were a bit much one early morning, but anybody living below any someone else should expect that. Maurice was very communicative about our refrigerator issue. I believe the door may not have been closed all the way upon our, the prior rental checking out. And we had a warm fridge upon check-in. Very comfortable mattress in the master bedroom, friendly gate guards at the entrance. Highly recommend this place. It's uh, For the dollar, it's not a bad deal. That is my review of Maurice's condominium. Thank you, Maurice. That was very comfortable. Here is an actual walkthrough of the condo. This was after we unpacked, so it's got a few of our things strewn about in it. We start in the living room, past the kitchen. into the master bedroom with the separate bath. Past the laundry machines into the next bedroom. The shared bathroom kids bedroom with three beds and remember there's a sofa bed in the living room as well. Now it was dinner time we searched directories for restaurants that we could agree on some of us wanted this some of us wanted that but we all decided that the backyard restaurant was probably gonna have a little bit of everything that we could all agree on. This place was nice. The outdoor seating area looked enjoyable. The indoor seating was nicely decorated. This place had character, good ambiance. But the menu was tough to choose from because it all looked great. I had a local Pluff Mud Porter from Holy City Brewing in South Carolina. 
This was actually the first I've heard the term pluff bud. Everybody enjoyed their food. The service was great. All in all, it was an awesome place to dine. I'll definitely come back if we're ever back in Phillip Head Island. Some of us were really looking forward to the zip line and obstacle course, but the attraction was closed because it was off season. I guess that's the disadvantage of going off season. Uh, although you get cheaper rates, things are closed sometimes. My wife and I wanted to get up really early to take pictures of the sunrise the next morning, but it was raining and we both decided we didn't want to get our camera gear wet and decided the clouds were probably not gonna play nice anyway. So we slept in just a little bit longer. So since it was raining Saturday morning anyway, some of us went to the indoor pool. The hot tub was nice. The pool wasn't too bad. It was a little colder than my pool in the summer, but swimmable. We spent the morning there and then headed out. I took the family to the Coastal Discovery Museum. If I remember correctly, the museum was free. There were interesting exhibits that covered the history of the area. We went out to the boardwalks around the marsh and explore the grounds. There was some pretty cool art to see. What are you doing? Sliding. Hiding. Hiding. Oh! Sliding. <laughs> Unfortunately, the butterfly gardens were lackluster due to the time of year we went at. However, the camellia garden was quite impressive. My wife spent a lot of time photographing the flowers and the insects and stuff. I took a few great family photos on museum property. We then stopped at McDonald's for our late lunch. Then off to the other end of the island to Harbor Town to check out the lighthouse. Two of us paid to get to the top of the lighthouse, and the littlest of us all was free. Again, there were a few interesting exhibits inside the lighthouse detailing the history of the area. While it was windy on the ground, the top of the lighthouse was crazy windy. I probably would have lost my hat if I wasn't careful. The view from the top of the lighthouse was pretty awesome. 
it's a pretty touristy thing to see, I guess, but I mean, if you think of Hilton Head Island, you think the lighthouse, so why not? We had to see it. We drove back to the condo in time to catch the sunset again. For dinner, we went to the Hickory Tavern. It was super close to the condo, so we decided we'd try it out. It was okay. There were plenty of TVs, good bar food, good service. Not a bad place to have a dinner. Got back to the condo and some of us went out for another swim. My wife and I got up half an hour before the sunrise to catch that. The colors were vibrant. We got some pretty awesome photos out of it. The weather was cool and windy. Very cold and windy. We got some really great photos. Got some pretty awesome photos. Check some of these out. So we packed up that morning and headed out. We stopped at a subway in Florida for lunch and ate at a local port. We arrived back in town just after sunset. I returned the van, we unpacked, that was that. I booked this trip for January because I wanted to get some colder weather in. I wanted the kids to see what a coldish winter was actually like. However, although it got cold this weekend, it wasn't as cool as I expected. I think we got a warmer weekend than we should have. But still, we had to bundle up Sunday morning. It was a little cold. When I booked this trip for January, I thought maybe, just maybe, we would see a flurry or two. But that didn't happen. It was a little warmer than it should have been. I noticed the vegetation, wildlife and weather were quite similar to what we have here in Pinellas. Not much difference at all really. I'd gone with my wife to Hilton Head Island about 15 years ago and I remember it being quite a bit more different than where we used to live. At the time we lived in Virginia, so the difference from Virginia to Hilton Head Island was noticeable. Whereas the difference from Pinellas County to Hilton Head Island, not so much. It was remarkably similar. So overall, I'm very happy with the Turo rental. I'm very happy with the Airbnb rental. A little bit disappointed that the zip line was closed for the season. That would have been fun, real fun to do. And I'm also disappointed that I could only manage a three day weekend. So that was our trip. I'd like to go back again, maybe another time of year when it's a little warmer. Maybe there's gonna be more to see, more to do. If you like this video, again, five different ways you can help me out. Like this video, subscribe to my channel, comment below, share this video, or check out my Amazon shopping list. Thank you. A bus? The end. The end. The end. The end. The end.